Good morning, Bradley here. Have a couple albums to show you today. It's very hot, very humid. Gonna be like 98 degrees and who knows what the humidity will be. So if you hear the fans and the air conditioning in the background, you'll understand why. <laughs> I got a couple albums to show today. And uh, this is a, both of them are on the same label. So I'll just start out by saying uh, my cousin is also into jazz. So uh, uh, we often recommend albums to each other. Now he's, I'm kind of over here, kind of there, but he's over here. <laughs> so it's hard, sometimes it's hard for us to agree on an album that we both like. But uh, we do it fairly often. So I'm talking about Strata East. Uh, I remember uh, probably, God, it's been seven or eight years ago when I first started watching YouTube videos, uh, Kieran at Needle Groove. He was on a Strata East kick at the time and he showed several, said he really loved them. Um, I think I checked a few out at the time and my opinion was like, eh, I was really into hard bop blue note at that time so I just kind of forgot about it but anyhow at least in the last few years uh, a label out of I think they're out of the UK called pure pleasure uh, they've been re <coughs> reissuing reissuing remastering a lot of these strata East albums and uh, so those are they're audiophile, you know, just think of a tone poet or the uh, acoustic sounds verb series, uh, same deal. So anyhow, the first album I will show is a Strata East, and this was 1974, which Strata East started in 1972. They went through the 70s and then they kind of shut down. So. 2022 is the 50th anniversary, so they will be releasing even more that they have not released yet on this uh, Pure Pleasure label. So this one is Shamak Farah, called First Impressions. So this was from 1974. I think he had another album put out on Strata East. I'm not sure if it was after this or before. I'm not sure. But I've listened to that. I really like it. Uh, so anyhow, my cousin recommended this album. And wow, this is really cool. I don't know that much about Shamak Farah or any of the uh, musicians on this album. All I know is they're really good. There's probably seven piece they have a drummer and two extra percussionists. Uh, this would be considered uh, post-bop. And uh, so they're 1974 or whatever. I, I think they're picking up some influences from the, from the soul music back then. Uh, like Marvin Gaye, some of the percussion. I can see a similarity there. But uh, this is an amazing sounding album. Uh, it must have been recorded very nicely when it was originally recorded. And Pure Pleasure does a fantastic job. Uh, if you can hear, that's what's playing in the background. Excellent piano on here. Uh, all these musicians are really good. Um, Shamak Farah, First Impressions, really good album. Now the second Strata East album I have is, actually this must have been released just this year uh, by Pure Pleasure because it does have the 50th anniversary Strata East sticker on there. So this one is uh, 
the name of the group is called Music Inc., which is Charles Tolliver on trumpet, Cecil McBee on bass, um, uh, Stanley Cowell on uh, piano, and Jimmy Hops on drums. Live at Slugs, Volume 1. So this is a live recording. This was actually, I think, recorded in 1970. But it was one of the first uh, Strata East recordings in 1972. So when I got this album, uh, I did a little research and uh, anyhow, I started looking at uh, other releases by Strata East and I kept seeing a lot of Music Inc. and Charles Tolliver and Stanley Cowell and even Cecil McBee. Well, Tolliver and Stanley Cowell are the co-founders of they were the co-founders of Strata East. And I will show you, because the label's kind of cool. I assume this was the original Strata East label. It's just black and white, but uh, really nice. And I'll quickly show, in each one of these, they stick in a pamphlet. So. Pure Pleasure, they've released probably, I'm going to say 300 albums uh, over their, the life of their uh, record label. And probably 99% are jazz. Uh, it's amazing their discography in here. It's, uh, there's some of the records and then uh, all of those. So they put out a lot of stuff. It's audiophile quality, good stuff. Now this is, it's a live album. It was recorded at Slugs in New York City, 1970, but not released till 72 when they got the label going. This would be pretty much hard bop, I would say. There is a volume two also available. Sound quality on this, it's a live recording from 1970, but it sounds really good. Uh, you know, it's not gonna match the quality of that first album I showed because that was a studio album. But this sounds really good and the music is fantastic. Uh, Charles Tolliver, I first became aware of him, I think on uh, Jackie McLean's album, It's Time. And I remembered that because I thought, boy, this guy's a really good trumpet player. And, uh, and I think he played quite a bit with Jackie McLean. Uh, but I'll tell you, and there's three songs on here. Two on side one, second on side one, on side two, probably 40 minutes of music, I suppose. <clears throat> but I will tell a little bit of history of slugs uh, I think it, I think they uh, opened I don't know probably in the 60s originally it was slugs saloon and New York City they didn't allow the word saloon <laughs> in, as far as a bar name uh, slugs was in I don't know what street it was on a, at that time it was a very, very bad part of town. Uh, you'd be lucky to get a taxi driver to drive you to that area. Uh, drugs all over. I'm sure inside slugs, drugs were all over, go in the bathroom, whatever. Uh, but for some reason, uh, a lot of jazz musicians like to play there. And uh, I read somewhere where one guy was saying, "Slugs at Slugs, you could go in one night and maybe Wayne Shorter would be in there and maybe he would do his complete Blue Note album that was just released a couple weeks before. So that's the reputation they had. And uh, I think Jackie McLean played it 
played there, so I'm not sure because he lost his cabaret license for New York City, so I think Slugs was whatever, kind of lenient or whatever. Uh, and you may remember Slugs, that's where, uh, uh, <laughs> mind blank, <laughs> the trumpet player, Morgan. Uh, that's where he was shot and killed by his wife. And uh, I think, I'm not sure what year that was. I'm gonna say 71. So th this was recorded probably before that. So, kind of a rough place, I think. But uh, Live at Slugs, Tolliver, Cowell, Cecil McBee, and Jimmy Hobbs. Excellent album. Stanley Cowell is a fantastic pianist. Kind of reminds me a little bit sometime of McCoy Tyner. I don't know. Cecil McBee. Just good stuff. Good stuff. So anyhow, that's the two albums for today. Uh, and I will say, uh, Strata East albums, when you go on Discogs, they're not real plentiful, and uh, if you find them and they're in decent shape, they're gonna cost you a little bit. So they probably didn't sell that many, so therefore there's not as many out there. So these Pure Pleasure releases is fantastic. You know, you get a brand new audiophile recording of an album that you would have trouble tracking down otherwise. So, uh, I think I will end on that. So everybody, try to keep cool. Catch you later.